Hello, beautiful. So what we got here is a Heimer. So a 3D probe, I can probe in the X, the Y, and the Z. Um, this will help me set up uh, fixtures and offsets and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it in and we're going to sweep this in and get it uh, more or less calibrated or set up so I can actually use it. So me, I'll go, I can only do it with two hands, so sticky right there. This, take this guy out. Where is two of these out? All right. That guy out. And this guy. There we go. So now, what we're going to do. So we're going to indicate, we'll put an indicator here, and we're going to indicate this guy, and we're going to use, I guess this screws out up here, but we're going to, we're going to straighten this out because I don't know if this is, is straight or not. We'll make sure that's on axis with the spindle, and then we can then use this to set up our, our uh, fixtures or our workpieces if we're going off the workpiece. So. Let me get set up and then uh, we'll get this done. So if you guys look right down here, you'll see I got the indicator set up. It's right on the ball right there. And as I spin around, you'll see it's way out. This keeps going. I think it's all the way pushed back. They push the indicator all the way back. They come back. And then it comes all the way back around. So that obviously shows that we are not center to the spindle. You actually can kind of see it here if you look. As I spin it around, it kind of wobbles back and forth. So how you adjust this is up here. Uh, it's kind of out of the view. It's right out of the view of the camera. There's little set screws here. I'll pick you guys up. There's little set screws up here. You see that guy right there. So there's three of them, and there's one there, and then there's one over here. Or I guess there's four of them. So you loosen and tighten those, and that'll maneuver this guy to go back and forth or around, and just you keep loosening and tightening these to move it back and forth to get this to read zero as you spin it around. So I'll set you guys up and you guys can watch me uh, fiddle around with this and uh, see how long it takes me. So here we go. Alrighty, so learn from my mistake. You can see that I got a different holder in here. This is actually a, a, an ER32 call it holder that I got. For some reason, I was thinking that the shaft on the Heimer was 20 millimeters, which is why I got this guy. You can see, where is it? There it is, 20 millimeters. For some reason I was thinking it was 20 millimeters and I just I couldn't get it sh like straight and aligned in there. It kept going wobbly way out, um, and so I finally took it all apart and used my nice new uh, micrometers, and I, I measured it, and it's actually uh, three quarter inch. Well, really, it's with it being is that a German company or a Swiss company, the Heimer? Um, it's probably 19 millimeters, but. I guess 19 and uh, 3 quarter are very similar. So I put a 3 quarter inch uh, collet in there and then tighten it down and I was able to easily get this aligned 
you can see here, well, take a keep your eye on there. It moves, let's see that, maybe a tenth, a little over a tenth. So I'd say that that's pretty straight for me, at least for my amateur skills. So uh, we're all set with that guy. Um, so basically just to give a rundown of, of the procedure, first you install the Heimer probe into a holder, stick it in the spindle, and then you spin it around. First you loosen up all of these set screws, you know, just, just break, them, break them loose. Or, or I guess first you, you probably check it to see if it is straight and then if it's not then you can break them loose and then basically use this guy and basically I find the extremes going you know high side and low side and then I'll go to the high side and then I'll screw say this one in and bring it in halfway between the high and the low that I found and then just keep going around you know go 90 and then go 180 and just keep doing that or go back and forth if I if I need to go in only in one direction. So I'll do that and then uh, that's what you get. You get possibly a tenth of, of run out. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to give you a, a quick quick overview of, of the Heimer and uh, how to set it up and how you can look like a crazy person with all your coolant hoses in the way. So uh, thanks for following along. Uh, next up, we'll probably do some tool setting and uh, then we'll be cutting some chips because I already got some, a little piece of scrap right here. I got something designed up, but I want to get through these videos just to be able to document it for, for myself and for you guys and uh, anyone else you might want to learn. So uh, thanks for following along, guys. If you haven't, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, let's, uh, let's keep seeing where this goes. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.